we haven't lost this sense of romanticism in our in the in the 21st century um, and in Berlioz's case it's never sentimental it's it's sentimental but not not in a, a in a relevant way it's it's comforting it's we have empathy with these feelings even though some of them are incredibly dark it's um evocative of, of the sort of bram stoker dracula and um uh mary shelley's frankenstein that sense of foreboding and drama um the sort of shivering strings the key changes within the song are quite wild and um sort of rather like sort of if you're climbing over rocks or climbing you know, unexpected terrain so I think that's the nature of the, the harmony of the song is unexpected and that's so wonderful and fresh um, and I imagine it's these kind of elements that made people in Berlioz's day criticize him um, unfavorably because it didn't follow a form you know he, he was whimsical and daring harmonically and texturally as well, and also incredibly difficult to sing <laughs> uh, because of um, all the colours, but absolutely worth the effort and the journey, I think. The one thing about these guys is they really know how to listen. And whether our rehearsal this afternoon was because of that um, or because they know me, I don't know. But it, it went very smoothly today. It could have been terrible, but it didn't, it wasn't. And I think that's because we know each other and because they trust me and I totally trust them. For me, the best part of uh, uh, being a musician is working, is rehearsing and finding out what works, um, both dramatically if it's an opera and, um, and with people who have patience and interest in, I don't like sort of quick throwing things on, you know, I, 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 I get really freaked out by that, you know, the famous, you know, here's a video in three days and you're on in opera houses. It's, it, to me, it's horrific. And I, I've done it once, but I prepared myself so well that I don't think I could have gone wrong. Um, but it, it, it's not my ideal way of working. You tend to defer to the conductor and he or she relays what you're doing to them. But in fact, most of the players know. But the etiquette is that the conductor is the one that speaks to the orchestra on your behalf. It's really, really nice to have an ensemble where anyone can say anything to anyone. Um, uh, the drawback is that there might be an ensemble issue occasionally, but that's why we rehearse. That's what we're going to be doing all weekend. And um, so, and I'm trying to be as clear as I can with, sometimes I give the odd gesture when it's a dramatic moment, which helps the strings strike the bow. The final song um, tells us that love is worth pursuing, that it is, it is the ideal, but that we, shouldn't expect um, liaison or relationships to last forever. But it's, it's ironic, it's tongue-in-cheek. Tongue um, but I think that's the French way. <laughs>